Okay, here we are. Um, and another part of the Demerit School Forest. This is a plantation of white pine. We installed the same year that the other stand, uh, the dense shelterwood regeneration we just filmed, was re regenerated. Maybe one year earlier. Actually, this was planted in 08. Those, those trees germinated in 09. So these are 14 years in the ground. It's a trial of weevil resistance of about, I don't know, what were they, 60 or so different genotypes from J.D. Irving and the, uh, in New Brunswick, as well as the New Brunswick Provincial Nursery. Some improved stock that they had of white pine, different um, uh, clones, I guess, raised from somatic embryogenesis, so-called SE trees, right, from where you take callus tissue from seeds and create new plants. Um, some of these were, all, were at least two years old in pots, maybe three, so they're actually older than the planting date, so they're a bit older than the other ones. But some of these trees here are probably, there's one in, right in front of the camera right now that's probably seven inches DBH, and the tree I'm standing by has amazing form. Um, I don't know that it's ever been weeveled, and it's probably 30 feet tall in, what, 14 years in the ground. Now that's extraordinary. This was a good what is this? Six inches at least DBA. We pruned these trees to basically above one whorl above breast height so we can walk around better. Plus, they're, of course, growing rapidly. So I think there's promise here. We have evaluated weevil attack in here almost every other year since we've planted it, although not lately. And there are no completely resistant clones, but there's no question that there's some really strong genes here that if the tree gets weeveled, they, they self-correct and grow pretty straight. So that's what's going on with some of these. Um, so if, now, unfortunately, that you can't, you as a landowner or viewer here cannot go out and buy this planting stock. At least I'm, I don't know how you would do it. People certainly have asked how to do that when we've led tours here. I don't get a clear answer from Irving. They could certainly produce it because they have the callus tissue. They're, of course, more into growing spruce and fir, but they do saw pine, and they're interested in this species in New Brunswick, and it's, uh, so, very promising. This was planted in, right in a, uh, it was an old red pine plantation, clear cut. Uh, it's the best soil in the forest. It's a silty texture. I'm sure even what series it is, but it's, uh, there's no stones in it, but I don't think it's marine sediment, so I'm not sure what the origin is. And, uh, you know, we did a whole bunch of replications here of planted on a four-foot spacing, and then we roged out two-thirds of the badly weevil trees about five years ago, and then pruned, as you see here. So we've got a, it's a nice plantation, if you look around here, uh, developing. And it does show that you can, with, if we plant the right uh, stock, we can uh, grow some good pine trees, uh, starting on old fields. There were, the, we even challenged this. We brought in 200 weevils one year and challenged all of the trees. Put two weevils on the leader of, I think, four of the reps, replications here. We brought in weevils. We've never done any weevil spraying. Imagine if you had sprayed this, you'd have just stupendously nice trees by now. And of course, they're, they're way up above. They, the, the crop trees here are grown above one saw log, so you could, we could prune them up at least 12 feet now if we wanted to. And of course, we do have some large limbs that we'd have to prune off, but that's not a problem if you're going to grow the quality on this pine. So I think this is, we're going to call this a success. This just keeps looking better and better, like a lot of these uh, stands. Once you get the crown closure, it's probably time for another light thinning in places. So, yeah.